Hey guys, uh, Andrew Chase here uh, for Surfcasters Journal, and um, today I thought I'd show you guys how to um, butcher and one recipe for a skate. So I know uh, a lot of us catch skate, you know, usually when we're not intending to, you know, usually we're we're fishing for bass or bluefish or something and you catch a skate and you go, ah, this is a pain, you know? You're stealing my bait or whatever. It's something that you usually don't want, but skate is such a great eating fish that I just sort of, I wanted to show you guys, you know, uh, one way you could do it and, and also how to butcher it. Now I have, uh, I have two, uh, two different things here. This is a fillet from the skate, so this is clean off the uh, cartilage, because it's, it's cartilage, not bone, ready to go. And this is, if you can picture it, one of the wings from the skate. So this is where the center portion of the body would have been, and then you'd have another matching wing, like that, on the other side, right? So this is the top side with the spikes on it, and um, Okay, so I just want to show you quick how to take it off the bone, or uh, cartilage rather. So this is trimmed already, and um, you just want to be a little bit careful about your uh, the spikes on here. You could wear a glove. I'm going to use a, uh, a kitchen towel at one point when I take the skin off. Anyway, you just feel in there for uh, where the cartilage comes up and just follow it and uh, when you reach the uh, the cartilage on the inside you know your knife will, will hit that then just angle your knife and go along just as if uh, you know you were filleting any other flat fish can you see that okay all right so I'm just gonna go along now when you do hit the skin on the other side, it's very tough. And so you're gonna wanna keep the knife running away from you so that uh, it doesn't jump out and there's no danger of cutting yourself. All right, so then you just cut through. skin is very, uh, very tough. All right, so, take that off, and uh, I would do exactly the same on the other side. When you take these off, you'll notice the uh, fillet on the bottom is going to be a little bit thinner. The thickness of the fillet won't be quite as much. All right, and then, so this is a nice clean fillet, but you can't eat that skin, so you got to take that off. And again, I have a little cartilage here, I need to get out of the way. Again, skinning this is gonna be just like if you were skinning a piece of, uh, well, any fish, you know, a bluefish or a bass or a, a fluke. So I, I just cut in until I have a nice little flap of skin to hold on to, and I keep my board at the edge of the table. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab this skin with a, uh, a clean rag here, dish towel. And now I just angle my knife slightly down towards the cutting board and pull the skin towards me. Alright, so I really didn't leave any meat there. And uh, so this I'll discard. And the only, the last thing you got to do is this silver skin here, which is uh, just connective tissue, you want to take that off because that will contract when you're cooking it and it'll be tough. So you want to just get rid of that. Get rid of that. And there you go, one beautiful clean skate wing. And now we're gonna prepare a stuffing and I'm gonna show you how to fill that. But I would just mention that just taking this piece of fish here and sauteing it in a little bit of butter, you could flour this fish first, is fantastic. And that's a classic way to cook this fish. So um, guys, I urge you, next time you catch a skate that uh, 
that's big enough to yield a, a filet like that, you definitely want to keep it and try it. It's really great. You'll like it. All right. We have our, um, our skate filet, and um, this would be great to just simply saute. You could flour it first or not. Saute it in some butter. I usually use a mix of uh, olive oil and butter to keep the butter from browning too fast. And, uh, you know, when it's done, a squeeze of lemon, and that is a great dish. But um, for this one, we're going to do something a little bit more elaborate, but not difficult. Uh, we're going to make a, a stuffing, and we're going to fold it into the filet and bake it like that quickly. Um, you could do any stuffing that you want. You want to do crab meat, that would actually go great with this. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do just a simple filling made with uh, spinach and mushrooms. So what I'm going to do here is, this is about half of a package, you know, like you buy at the supermarket, of uh, leaf spinach, which I just sauteed, and this gives me about a third of a cup. That's just sauteed and squeezed dry. I seasoned it when I cooked it. Uh, this is uh, about half of a small white onion, just sweated in some butter until it's soft. Um, some chopped and sauteed button mushrooms. Um, about as much by volume as I have uh, for the spinach. So about equal parts spinach and mushroom. It's a little bit of whole milk ricotta. Just a couple of ounces. And uh, that's just going to give some richness to my filling. Now I've seasoned everything as I was cooking it, but the ricotta isn't seasoned, so I may want to adjust this for the ricotta. Now I'm going to add about half a beaten egg. I know that sounds a little strange, but a full egg is going to be too much for this much stuffing. So I'm not going to add the whole thing. And I'm going to add just about a tablespoon of uh, dried breadcrumbs. See how that looks. Fold that together. Now, depending on the size of your fillets, this should be enough to fill um, one whole skate wing or two fillets, and that's plenty, more than enough for uh, four people probably. But it, you know, it all depends on the people and the occasion. Okay, so I'm going to give this a quick taste and make sure I don't need to add a little bit more salt. Okay, I, I don't. Um, I'm going to add a teeny bit of pepper. And um, just one of the keys here is you want to season everything as you go. So here we have our, our stuffing. Now I'm going to take the fish and I'm going to season that. And this is going to be the outside. So sprinkle it with salt little bit of freshly ground pepper, flip it over. That's the side that was closest to the cartilage, right? So that's the side that we're gonna put the stuffing in because that's, you know, the least presentable side. And sprinkle with a little bit of salt. Should've done that before I seasoned it. If you think that it's a little bit wet, you wanna dry that. Okay, so. Again, a little bit of salt. Season everything, but season lightly. Okay, so I'm gonna take about half this stuffing, and I'm gonna fold the filet over the stuffing. So, in other words, only, only put it on half the filet. Make the stuffing thickest at the thickest part of the filet. Okay. Flip that over, and you know, make it look nice so you can see a little of the filling, because that's the way it's going to look when you take it out of your dish. Now, 
oven proof dish. You can do this in a, in a fry pan that can go in the oven. I happen to have this dish, so I'm gonna use that. I, I like to use this dish in the oven. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the bottom. Rub it all over the bottom. If you don't wanna use butter, you can use a little bit of olive oil, you can use a little bit of canola oil. Chopped shallot. Chopped shallot or onion, it's fine. This is going to help flavor the uh, the wine and the butter and everything that we're cooking the fish with. So I'm going to put my fish in the pan. I'm going to put a couple of thyme sprigs. I always buy thyme. You can buy it at the supermarket, and I I use it in a lot of the things that you know. Obviously, I use it at the restaurant, but I buy it for home use too. It really gives you know a, a special taste to things. You know, using fresh herbs is. Is, uh, is is it's worth it to use fresh herbs, you know. Really makes things taste good. All right, now the dot the top with butter, and I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine. This is just a, a Sauvignon Blanc. You can use any kind of white wine that you have open in the fridge. If you don't have wine and you don't want to buy wine, you can use water with a squeeze of lemon or a small spoonful of vinegar. All right, now, I got about a little more than a quarter inch of wine in the bottom of the pan. Now, this is only gonna take about 15 minutes to cook in the oven, so I want the wine to, at the time we're done, I want the wine to be reduced a little bit with the butter melted into that, and we're just gonna spoon that over the fish, and that's gonna be enough sauce for the dish. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, so now we're gonna check our skate. And it's pretty easy to see if it's done. I mean, this looks done, but I'm gonna show you how you can check to make sure. In between the little uh, ribs of meat, you see the way this filet is built. Just put your spatula and if it pulls away easily like that, you can tell it's done, okay? So I know this is done. The juice is nice and reduced. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this now. I mean, this is definitely enough for two people here. So I'm just gonna, you know, show you what it looks like when we cut into it and put it on a plate. And I'm just gonna plate this simply with a couple of steamed potatoes. So. Take my spatula, cut through there. And you can see the filling inside. And I think that looks great. So we're gonna put that on the plate. And um, this is just the cooking juice, which is some of the juice from the fish, plus the wine and our butter. Um, if you wanted to add a little extra butter, if you wanted to add a splash of cream, you can do all that stuff. But I think this is, you know, this is sufficient and, uh, you know, very tasty and simple. So, and I, I like those sort of one pot meals. Okay, so I got some, some steamed potatoes here. If you wanted to do a, another veg, you wanna do a little bit of spinach or, you know, continue the theme of the stuffing, right, with spinach or mushrooms or something like that, you can certainly do it. I'll put a little juice from these too. That's it. That's a piece of stuffed skate that we made in this pan right here in the oven with just a little bit of white wine and butter with the stuffing inside.